Excited to be here. Yes, Nehemiah Davis. Okay, so I, I feel like I should know who you are. Please tell me more. I'm just serial entrepreneur, author. Oh, serial <laughs> entrepreneur. Okay, so what makes you a serial entrepreneur? We run a bunch of different businesses, circle CEOs, health, too many, a lot. We okay. got a lot going on. So my question to you is, yeah. which one is most in, dear to your heart? Current, Pri currently, right now. Probably be my organization, my nonprofit, where we get back to people in need. Okay, yeah. so if I have, say, a 14 or 15-year-old who wants to be an entrepreneur like Nehemiah Davis, yep. what would I tell them? Start now. Start now? Yeah. And put them in a program that can uh, help facilitate that, get them going with entrepreneurship. Okay, yeah. so how do I find that? You have something? That's good. I, we're actually about to do something for like 30 kids where we're flying them out. They're going to spend a weekend with us um, in... We're just going to show them all things entrepreneurship and more so exposure. Take them to mansions, take okay. them on in nice cars. Just really show them what's possible. Okay. It's not even fully entrepreneurship. It's just immersion of finer things to show them what's possible. Okay, so my last question for you. Yep. Why are you here today? What brings you here? So one, I'm a speaker here at EYL and I'm there, my brothers. So just showing love and support. Oh, when one win, we all win. I love it. Yep. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. I truly appreciate you no stopping problem. by. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Aristotle, right here, right here. Aristotle. Aristotle. Okay, I see. What's the '96? Yeah. I was born in '96, and I'm from Atlanta. <laughs> oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. So, what brings you out to Invest Fest? Um, I'm a speaker here. Are you really? Like, what are you speaking about? Investing. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's all I get. I gotta come into the session. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm actually about to go speak in like maybe an hour. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. So, why would they ask you to come and speak? Cause I'm a famous investor. Okay. Yeah, y'all right. gotta Google Aristotle, man. You feel me, like? Okay. Yeah. All right. And how did you become famous? Um, I was in the military, and uh, I started trading. And when was it? This was back in 2018. Okay. Yeah, like, uh, well, 2017, I started trading, and then I was posting on Facebook. Then I moved to Instagram, created an Instagram called Aristotle Investments. And um, I was teaching people how to option trade, long-term trade, doing mentorships, posting content about investing. And uh, I made a million before I left the Army. Okay, awesome. So, yeah, so I was famous in the Army first. I was selling books and stuff there. And then uh, started selling books online. You seem a little young with all due respect. Yeah. And you started investing at what age? Uh, 21. 21. So if you were speaking to a room full of 21 year olds, how would you encourage them in terms of investing? Just one piece of advice. Buy low, sell high, more size, less trades, buy extreme dips. Always buy extreme dips. The market is meant to go up. So the market will never just crash to zero. So as long as you know the history of peace itself, keep buying all the extreme dips. Extreme dips though, like Buy when they're fearful, sell when they're greedy. So when everybody is scared, that's when you should be buying. Okay, Mr. Aristotle, thank you so much for your time and thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Hello, this is Keisha with Taylor Made Film Company. We are at Invest Fest Invest 2022. Fest. Yes, we are. And I have 
the distinct pleasure to be here with this young man. No, I have to say I am a fan. I appreciate it. Hampton University alumni Oh, whoa, here. whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you know I went to Howard University, the real HU, so. You know what? We got a little beef, but. Uh, no, no beef. We'll work it's it out. It's all love. We'll work it out. It's all love. Okay. Cause considering why I am standing next to you, right? Yes, you're right. So, you represent something big. I appreciate that. No, you represent something big. And I want to say thank you. No, thank you. For spotlighting what is near and dear to our hearts. The HBCU. Okay, so how about this? What? Introduce yourself. Who are you? My name is Justin Phillips. I sell t-shirts online. Really? Is that what we're doing? <laughs> <laughs> I sell t-shirts online. No, no my sir. name is Justin Phillips. I own a brand called Support Black Colleges. Wait, one more time. It's called what? Support Black Colleges. Okay. Support Black Colleges. Yes. I love it. Good. So how did it come to be? 2012, I was in school, went to Howard University, and we didn't get started. Uh, the business got started in 2012. Me and my partner, we were just friends. I just okay. wanted to help out. And then around 2018, he invited me back and said, hey, let's take this thing seriously. But I was the first person in my family to go to college. So when I went there Big and ups. I saw what HBCUs meant and what they stood for, yes. I said, more people need to know about this. Absolutely. But we did it in our way, which we like fashion. So it was like, yes. let's do it through shirts. Let's do it through clothing. And that's kind of how things got started. Awesome. So what brings you here to Atlanta yeah. today? Come on. In this fast 2022, what brings you here today? I'm not going to lie to you. I come to these types of events for the people. Okay. Because the information is great and I love it and it pours into me and I'm a thousand percent grateful for it. But being around like-minded individuals, being around your future business partners, being around positive black people doing great things, that's why I come to these types of events. It's specifically why I came to Events Fest. Okay, I have one last question. What's up? What does HBCU mean to you? Oh man. That's a great question. First thing coming to my mind is, it's just black excellence. Yeah. That's what it is. I, it's, it's something different that you feel when, except in Students Day, you go onto the yard and they throw in a party inside of the cafeteria yes. and they playing Nuck If You Buck and you eating <laughs> fried chicken and you yes. got a little mac and cheese too because yes. it's Soul Food Thursday. It's a little different. It so, is. It, it's just, it's at black excellence at the highest level. That's what HBC is me. You have absolutely blessed my heart. Yeah. I'm so happy to be standing here with you today. Thank you for taking the pleasure. time Thank and you. stopping by. I'm not going to tell you how much money I sent to spend at your booth. What? I'm not going to say that. We'll talk about that on one this later. Camera, <laughs> but I absolutely support you, HBC. Same. Love. Yeah. It's Love. a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we're going to. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, this is Taylor Made Film Company coming to you straight from the ATL. Come on. Taylor Made Film Company. Follow us on Instagram. Yeah. Straight love. There it is. It's a pleasure. <laughs>
Awesome. So what we focus on is branding and marketing okay. and helping people increase their conversion rates because a lot of people focus on getting traffic, but they're not converting. So I actually educate people on how to optimize their business, understanding how to create more of a digital presence, create more authority, right? More okay. social proof, et cetera, getting reviews. All, all, all the little finer details that you end up missing and you end up going through mistakes and you're losing a lot of money and you're paying for uh, mentorship and that's what I do is kind of help people avoid a lot of those mistakes. I understand. All right, so you sound like the guy to know, mm -hmm. cool nerd. Cool nerd. How do we find you? you on, on your socials? Yeah, find me on the socials. You see the brand. Walking billboard, <laughs> coolest nerd ever. It. You can find me on coolest nerd ever, or you can go to my company brand. It's digital brands with a Z. I had to swag it out, keep it authentic. Okay, and your name is Jacoby. 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 Thank you so much Thank for you stopping so much. by. I love what you guys are doing. Oh, you see us? You and then the branding of Taylor <laughs> May. You better say it. Oh, Who came gosh. up with the name? Okay, so that's actually her daughter's name. Well, their daughter's name. A husband and wife team. Husband and, and wife so team. So they named it after their daughter. Isn't that I love so special? It. That's special. Yes, it is. So thanks again for stopping by. Taylor Bay Film Company. Follow us on IG at Taylor Bay Film Company. Let's get it. Thank you, Miss Brittany you? Renee. Me? I am okay. Miss Brittany Miss, Renee. You hear her, Miss Brittany <laughs> Renee. Thank what you. What brings you to InvestFest? Well, I am here with my brand, Signature Required, a brand that was created in purpose, to walk in your purpose, to wear your name proud, and make sure that everything that you connect to is with value. When it's all said and done, everything does not matter but your name. Okay, so you are, that's a whole message in itself. Yes, ma'am. Signature Required. Signature Required. Okay. So, tell us a little bit more about your brand. So, it was a brand created in purpose. Okay. I am in the mental health field. Yes. You better come on here. And so, everything that I wanted to be connected to, I wanted to make sure that it was in purpose. Right. And so, I sat on this brand name for about seven years. Okay. And I went back to it, and someone owned the domain. And so I purchased the domain from them and then I trademarked the name because I wanted to make sure right. that I owned everything tied to Signature Required. So okay. Signature Required was a brand created in purpose. Okay, so if someone's tuning in and they have no idea, they've never heard of you, what do you want them to know? I want them to know that they should always inspire until they expire. When it's all said and done, it's the, the mark that you made on the world. So just make sure that small mark that you make is a positive one and that you inspire until you expire. Okay, so we're looking for you. How do we find you? You can find me on all social platforms, Brittany Renee 247 on Instagram, BrittanyRenee.com, or you can go to SignatureRequired.com and pick up some merch. <laughs> okay, so are you based in Atlanta? I am based in Arizona. In Arizona? Yes, ma'am. Hey. Yes. All the way from Arizona. All the way from Arizona. So I'm actually here with the Boss Up Conference. Rick Ross held a conference in Atlanta okay. back in September. And so I am in booth 107, and I'm here highlighting Signature Required. Honey, you better come through all the way from Arizona. Thank, Thank you. you so much for stopping by. Thank you for having I me. I am so happy that you stopped. Thank you. You are doing some really valuable work. Thank you so much. It is so important in 2022 and going forward, Thank especially you. with our children and trying to remove the stigmatism from what mental health is or really is. Absolutely. Okay. I work with Division of Child Safety. So okay. we have group home girls that come to our facility and they do trauma therapy, behavior coaching, all those good oh. things that we really need. And we are back at InvestFest 2022. My name is Bridget Charles and I am with TaylorMade Film Company and I am so delighted today to have this young gentleman here with me. Can you please tell me what your name is? I'm Kai of Kai's Ties. Kai of Kai Ties, that has a nice ring to it. Kai, so can you tell me what you are representing here at the festival for 2022? Today I'm representing another young black business and our goal is to make enough money to one day be able to fund other black businesses so that they can do good for the community. 
Wow, that's loaded. And if you don't mind me asking, how old are you? I'm 13. Wow, at 13, I think I was still playing in the sand. I think that's just so awesome. And I know that as a mother of a 16-year-old, I am so proud of you. I think that that's just truly awesome. So you. can you tell me how, well, for your particular business, right, how did you get started doing that business? So one day, my parents were talking to me about entrepreneurship and how I should have my own business. Wow. So I like to wear bow ties to school every day. I like to look like this. Uh -huh. So I like I wanted to make bow ties. Oh, wow. And we started doing that. And then we started doing festivals like this. Wow. And now we're at InvestFest. So. That's amazing. That's amazing. So the funny thing is, I think that you are... I kind of like motivation, not only for youth, right, but for adults as well. I think that it takes a strong person to be able to push through and persevere and be able to uh, pretty much accomplish all that you have accomplished, right? And simply for you to be here, I think that is really, really awesome. So just one more question for you, right? So you're only 13 years old, and if there are any other kids that's your age or even close to your age that are looking out to do something similar to you and want to get started, what would you tell them is uh, pretty much the first step in getting started. How should they start their ventures? They said, if you are doing something similar, I think you should first learn how to master your craft mm, okay. and try to make connections. That's why we're here today. We're making connections. If you make connections wow. with different people, then you can get your things into higher places. Wow. So I have to say, I want to be like you when I grow up. I think that that's just super fantastic. Absolutely. And we really thank you so much for stopping by to speak to us today. So for those people that's out there that's watching you who just think that you're super fabulous and they will want to actually reach out to you, um, how can they do that? You can reach out to me on my Instagram at Kai the Thai Guy. Kai the Thai Guy. And then for your products, are they able to go online and order that from the website or do they do it through Instagram? How can they get your product? You can go through Etsy, like to Kai's Ties. Okay, okay. It has a nice ring to it. And guys, he's the same across all of the major social media platforms. So be sure to follow him once again. Thank you so much. I just think that you're a super fly again. I want to be like you. you when I grow up. So guys, again, be sure to follow Kai and be sure to purchase from him. Like he's a young guy. He's out there. He's looking to make it happen. And I know that with your help, he can get that done. Be sure to follow Taylor May Film Company also on social media. Once again, we're coming to you live from InvestFest 2022. Thank you so much. And we wish you luck in everything that you do. And we'll be sure to send some people your way to make some purchases, okay? Thank you. Have a great day. Thanks again. Like, what's your name? Like, I really don't know. <clears throat> I'm not crying. It's a dust, y'all. I'm not crying. DJ Duval. DJ Duval. Like, Jacksonville Duval? Yes. My last name is actually Duval. Oh, okay. Yeah, but everybody asks, so you're, you're in good company. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. So, listen. I am over here trying to work. Okay. How many times did I come to your booth because you were on point? A couple. A couple times. Probably too many when I'm working, right? Nah, nah. I, I, lo I love... <laughs> I, that's why I do it. I do it for that reason. So thank you for coming over. That You gave me more energy to play, for sure. Okay, so are you based in Atlanta? Yes, yes. Really? Yes. Are okay. you? Where are you from? I'm in South Florida. Okay, because you said Atlanta with a T, so I figured you weren't from here. Uh -oh. Okay. So what am I supposed Atlanta? to say? Atlanta? Yeah, that's... <laughs> She definitely not from here. Man, you're me. <laughs> she ain't from here, y'all. We is N N A. And, and the Atlanta. ATL shouted. Yeah, ATL shouted. Right. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Well, welcome to Atlanta. <laughs> you're probably proper part of the reason why the traffic is the way it is. So thank you, thank I you for know that. I don't live here. Yeah. So yeah. I'm just visiting. I'm glad you're here though. <laughs> but whenever you leave, it'll just be one less car on oh. 75. Oh, he, are you sending me away? One last car. Ooh. One less. Oh. It's traffic is just the devil. Okay, so how did you become a DJ? I've been into music my whole life. Okay. Um, and uh, growing up, also my parents. And probably about five years ago, I started taking it serious. I always knew how to put music together, but I didn't never have like a platform. So one of my mentors, uh, now my business partner, because you know you can't mentor me forever. You know sometimes <laughs> I got to. He had to let the let the, let me fly. Oh. So oh, yeah, so it's been about five years, and I just, I love music. I do it for free. So you know how they say, if it's in something you really love, you'll do it for free. And I knew because I would, you don't have to pay me a dollar to play music. So okay. that's why I'm a wait, DJ. Wait, 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 wait. This is me being, just being confused. Uh -huh. Yeah. You are a DJ. Yes. 
based in Atlanta. Yes. But that was some other flavor. Right. I'm all, yeah, you got to play for everybody. Okay. You got to play for everybody. That's all it like, is. Like, I was having flashbacks over here. Right. You got to play for everybody. I was so distracted, right. I couldn't even do my job. You don't know who's in the room, you okay. know, so you got to play for everybody. That's the only way to have, like, a well-rounded situation. You got to make sure that you're playing a little bit of everything until something strikes okay, a nerve. so did I tell you you are amazing? Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank so, you. How can we find DJ Duval? DJ Duval ATL on Instagram. Um, somebody got DJ Duval. I just wanted it to be DJ Duval because I didn't want to do just strictly like Atlanta because I just came back from North Carolina. I had a show last night there and I drove in come I, like because yeah. of traffic. <laughs> Because of traffic, I was Killing a, me <laughs> I was running a little <laughs> behind, but I came park and came right in. So, DJ Duval ATL on all social platforms except to TikTok. I haven't gotten into TikTok yet. Okay, so that's your next step, though. I hope so. I think TikTok is. I mean, it's it's been around and it's not going anywhere. So I think I need a TikTok. Well, thank you so much for bringing the energy. You're more than I welcome. Thank you. you. Thank you. And thanks thank for you. stopping by. No problem. No Taylor problem. Bay Film Company. Follow us on AG. Okay, all no, right, I got IG, you. IG. Oh my God. IG. Cut. As in, Cut. As in Instagram. ATL. <laughs> <laughs> I fool it with you. I am not fooling with you. Uh -uh. Oh, that's funny. No, that's golden. I am that's not golden. fooling with you. But, but thank you for having me. No, thank me. you so much. I appreciate you. All right. We are back. This is Bridget with Taylor Made Film Company. We're still out here in these streets at Invest Fest 2022. And I have the awesome pleasure of introducing a gentleman next to me. Actually, I'll let him do it himself. Can you tell us who you are? Sure, I can. So I am Brack Rich. I am the CEO and founder of Black Foodie Finder. And basically what I do is I created an app. And this app is for the black-owned restaurants and chefs all over the U.S. Wow. So whatever city you go to, wherever uh -huh. you travel, from Atlanta, you will find your slutty vegans. Wow. Houston, you will find your turkey leg huts. LA, you will find your serving spoons. So we make it easy for us to support us. So the app right now, as I said, is 10,000 different locations. Aside from that, I run blackchef.com. Oh. Blackchef.com allows people to find the chefs and caterers in their city. Wow. And so these are quality chefs and people that's really putting in the work. Wow, wow, so. wow, that's amazing. So you are actually one of the people that we have been looking for. Okay. The reason why I say that, we're out here today, obviously we're trying to showcase black and brown businesses. Okay. And it's hard right. to get the word out, as you know. Very true. The fact that you created an app is awesome to me because I am also in the IT field and I know that that's not an easy task, number one. Right. And number two, I'm always out there trying to look for people that look like me Absolutely. online and it's so difficult, right? You have to call and try to see and you know some of those questions are awkward. So the fact that you have done this is really awesome. We think that they're super fantastic, it's wonderful. So why, well I guess my question is, sure. what actually made you do this or what made you think that this was needed if you will? So, and, and this is a funny thing, right? I like to eat mm -hmm. and I like yes. to support my people. Yes. So that was initially the thought, like I sat down and I was like, man, it'll be really cool if somebody created an app with all the black owned restaurants yes, on it. Yes, and yes, yes. And from there, I'll be honest, I did not know how to create an app or nothing like mm -hmm. that. But I said, okay, you know what, I'm gonna do it. I set mm -hmm. my mind to it and I sat back and I just, through COVID, sat down and really figured out how to build an app. And so what happened, and this is how organically it grew. I started just supporting the restaurants and their content on Instagram. Once I grew to about 20,000 followers, at mm -hmm. that point, I was able to release the app, which then got wow. me the traction and attention, right? And so now we're close to a million followers. Wow. And we consistently showing the chefs, the foodies, recipes, content, hack, and all the different type of things like that in the food space. Wow. So now we're at the space, if someone is black and in food, whether you're a chef, you're a caterer, or let's say you got a black owned product, a food product, and you're trying to get in Kroger's or Walmart, I'm working with these people too and trying to push them and get them in these stores. Mm -hmm. So it's just us representing us in this black food space and really a community and us just circulating that dollar. Love so, it, love it, love it. Black economics. excellence is at its best. You don't understand, that makes my heart happy. I appreciate uh, it. Because I'm always in the same boat. I'm always looking for those resources and the fact that we actually stumbled upon each other just now. I think that's truly awesome, truly awesome. So this is all really, really great. If people would like to get your app or they would like okay. to support you, how can they do that? So you can find us on all platforms, Black Foodie Finder, Black Foodie and Finder. So our biggest influence is on Instagram, but of course you can find us on TikTok, 
Twitter, pretty much all platforms, YouTube as well. For business inquiries, just shoot us an email, info at Black Foodie Finder, and we'll definitely reach back out to you. Guys, he's made it easy for you. There is absolutely no excuse to not support your people, right? He just actually, he actually just gave you the blueprint for it, right? So be sure to pick up that app and be sure to start to support our businesses and also support him. He's giving you the avenues to find him. Once again, I am Bridget with Taylor Made Film Company. Be sure to follow us on IG at Taylor Made Film Company. Once again, thank you so much for taking the thank time. Thank you. To speak Shout out to Taylor Made. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Thank, thank you. you so much, guys. Until next time, peace. Stay safe. Keep doing what y'all doing. Peace. Hello, this is Keisha with Taylor Made Film Company. We are at Invest Fest 2022 here in Atlanta, and I have this lovely young lady with me. Tell us who you are. Yes, I am Yvonne Ngomi, and I help people earn passive income through Airbnb. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Earn passive income. So that means you are not necessarily doing something, but you're earning. Correct. With Airbnb. That's right. Okay, now I understand that that has become a big business. Yes. How did you even become involved in that? So I got a mentor and I learned the game. I invested in myself and I was able to get four Airbnbs in less than four months. Okay, so somebody's watching this and they're like, you know what, I wanna do that. Where do, where do you start? So you can start, you can do, you can choose the path of either doing rental arbitrage or if you have a property, you can use your own property or if you want to even rent out an individual room, you can rent out rooms individually and make money. I met a lady like three weeks ago, she lives in Marietta. She said she rents out one room in her home and she's able to pay 90% of her mortgage. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, awesome, yes. awesome, awesome. So if you wanted to say something to the audience and encourage them, what would that be? Don't be scared. It's money out here. You can make it. Um, you can start with one room. You can, if you have an extra property, you can use that. If you want to rent a place, you can do that. But trust and believe it's immediate cash flow. I was able to leave my nursing career nursing. and live wow. off of my Airbnb money. That's so if I can awesome. do it, you guys can do it too. Okay, so how do we find you? You can follow me on Airbnb Startup Queen, on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter. All the platforms. Even TikTok. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. This is Taylor Made Film Company. Follow us on IG at Taylor Made Film Company. Hello. This is Keisha with Taylor Made Film Company. We are here at Invest Fest 2022. And... I am here with this sharp young man. Appreciate Who are it. you? Oh, my name is uh, Kasir Rasul, my well, company. Hold on, Kasir. Kasir. What does that mean? I love it. That means pl plentiful. Okay. Plentiful, it means plentiful. Okay, uh -uh. all right, that's and, what and I'm Rasul talking about. Rasul means messenger. Okay, so somebody was very purposeful when they named you. I believe I so. I love it. I believe so. So that screams purpose to me. I believe so. All right. Yeah. So what brings you here to Invest Fest? Um, what brings me here is um, invest. I want to invest, and um, I see a lot of African American business owners. You know, so I want to be around that energy because I think okay. we need to project more of that energy to our young um, African Americans, um, I love it. young 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 um. Uh, uh, entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, yeah, young young creators, young motivators, absolutely, young fighters. Okay. So that's why I'm here. I have to confess, mm -hmm. so when you walked up, this warm up sweats. No, it's more than just that. Like Georgia Peach. the detail yeah, yeah. and the stitching is everything. I appreciate what that. What is like? I've well, never seen anything like this before. Well, well this is my brand right here. I um, created a, a tracksuit, you know, because I. I figure I'm in Georgia, wait, so I wait, figure wait, peach. Hold on, hold on, uh, hold on, uh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> so you were very intentional wearing yes. this color. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And, and you are walking like a walking like brand. Like a billboard, like I a billboard. I appreciate it. <laughs> and now, now over now, I'm also the photographer, okay. for the event, a videographer for the event, so I'm capturing the moment. So I just stopped here to see all the African Americans. And what stopped me, because I saw the Taylor made brand, I think we need more African American film companies. We need to we, we need to control the, the visual more. That's for Shad's mom right there. I got to see her earlier. That's a sister. I saw her like, oh, <laughs> yeah. Wow. So so we here we here for the culture. Okay. We here for the culture. So this, how, like, okay, I want 
one, but in all, all black. Because right. it's black you. on black on black. Like, I got how do you. I find it? Allstreetglobal.com. That's the website. Um, we do a lot of um, mo motivational speaking in the communities, a lot of mentorships in the communities. We do a lot of community um, investments and um, yeah, we just try to uh, keep the culture going. Okay, so what about socials? How can social we find media, you on social media? All Street Global Entertainment, All Street Global Everything. Okay. They got Wall Street, we got All Streets Globally. You know what? Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you I'm for really, having me. I'm really feeling this. Thank you for having too. me, sis. I got you. Put that, <laughs> put that order in. I okay. got you, all right? All right. I appreciate so, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. This is Taylor May Film Company. Follow us on IG at Taylor May Film Company. Taylor May Film Company, <laughs> All Street Global. <laughs>
That's awesome. So Jeremy, can you tell me where are you located? Like, are you here in Atlanta? I actually am located in Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. Yes. Okay. But I come back and forth to Atlanta all the time. Okay. Uh, and I work with people here in Atlanta as well. So okay. you can find me uh, either online on social media, all social media at babwjp.com okay. or on my website. Okay. Sounds great. So it sounds like with your particular business, even though you're located in Dallas, you can well, like for the business overall, you can do a lot of it virtually, I would assume, correct? Yes, absolutely. Okay, that sounds like a winner. So guys, as he have told you, your your brand is your business, right? You're the face of your business. And if you ever need those services, be sure to hook up with Jeremy here, and I'm sure that he'll be able to get you set up. Jeremy, one more time, tell them how, they, how can they find you? You can contact me on, you can find me on all social media platforms at BABWJP, or you can visit my website at BABWJP.com which stands for Building a Brand with Jeremy Patton. Awesome, Jeremy. Thank you so much for stopping by today, and I hope that you're successful in InvestFest 2022. I know as a company, we'll be looking you up, so good luck on everything, and we'll talk soon. Thank you so much. It Have was a nice great to meet day. you. Absolutely. And this is TaylorMade Film Company coming right back at you at InvestFest 2022. I am Bridget, I am your hostess for today, and I have the pleasure of having here with me today. Will you introduce yourself? I am Jamal Thomas, I'm from Black on Black Education. We are so happy to be here, and thank you for uh, sharing your platform with us. Like, we definitely, definitely, definitely appreciate it. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much for being here, we appreciate you. So, tell me a little bit about your platform and what you do and what you're trying to do and who you're trying to reach, if you will. Absolutely, absolutely. So, our platform is a nonprofit, we focus primarily in New York, but we're going to start spending a bunch of time down here in Atlanta, and we're focused on student-centered approaches to education. So when you think about education, everywhere we go, kids are so disengaged. They're, yes. they're not interested in what is being fed to them. Yes. So we go in, we sit down with students, whether it's at schools or in different community organizations, and we start to ask them, what are you curious about? What problems do you mm -hmm. want to change? Do you want to solve in the world? Um, what are the things that are you most interest you? Um, and they share and they share out and they love and appreciate the idea that somebody's actually asking because typically that does not happen. Wow. What we do after that is we package the information that the kids are sharing and we're doing a participatory action research program where they are going to communicate out to their other friends and supporters and things to that effect. Um, and what will happen is, is we'll have a bunch of data around this is what students say that they want from education. We're going to co-advocate with them to mm. policymakers, to their schools, wow. um, to their parents, to say that this is what they are looking for, wow. and we have to redesign the system to reflect that. Oh, wow, that's awesome. So it sounds like you are going to be the voice for the people who sometimes feel like they don't have a voice, right, and get the word out to a larger audience. I think that's, that's super fantastic. We're going to help them be the voice. Yes, so, you know what I'm saying? We're going to facilitate yeah. a conversation with them okay. so they can be the voice. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's a really, really, that's a great cause, I think, that is very worthy, and I think that there's a lot of people out there who would love to support it, and I know that we're just glad to hear about you and meet you here at the Invest Fest. So, for those that are looking to donate or just support in any way, tell us how can they reach you? Yeah, so you can get us at Black on Black Ed on Instagram, www.blackonblackeducation.com um, is the website. Um, tap in with us, you know, let us know what you think the future of education looks like. Um, hit us with like the hashtag Black on Black Ed, you know, get a chance to win some merch. Um, we definitely, definitely, definitely want to. Anybody who is, you know, uh, if you love the kids, mm -hmm. tap in. Like, yes, that, 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 yeah, that's what it comes down Okay, guys, so listen, we're at Invest Fest. This is a worthy cause, right? So open up your pocketbook, your purse, clutch your pearls, do what you do, and be be the voice, right, and be the change that we need and actually help right. to support this organization. Right. Follow him. You have all of his information. And um, we look forward to holding you accountable. So thank you again for taking the time to interview thank with you, us thank today. You. We appreciate you so much, and we look forward to actually um, – trying to link up with you later and actually also support from our end. But once again, thanks and we wish you much success. Thank you again. Make sure y'all follow and tap in with Taylor Made. We appreciate um, you. Know, you're doing we appreciate big things you. out here. Absolutely. Thank you Thank so you. much. Have a great day. And we are back. This is Bridget with the TaylorMade Spotlight presented by TaylorMade Film Company. Guys, I know I've been coming at you all weekend just bringing you all these awesome brown faces, sharing all of these resources of where we can go to support each other. 
Standing to my left, I have two awesome people, and as you already know, I don't believe in talking for people, so I'm gonna let them introduce themselves. Who are you guys? Hi, everyone. We are the Black Coffee Company. My name is Shannon Stone, and this is... Christopher Bolden. One of the owners of Black Coffee. Awesome. Okay, we got all of the big wigs in yes. there. Guys, just a little quick nugget. So we've been trying to interview them all weekend, and they've been booming over there like in their little zone. So they just got a chance to talk to us because they're balling out of control. We ain't mad at them. We just saying, but we're glad to have them here now. <laughs> so Black Coffee, right? Okay, so tell me exactly what is that? What does that entail? What Absolutely. I'm going to hand it over to the owner, Okay. <laughs> Uh, black Coffee is our gift to the community. Some um, the tenets of Black Coffee are community empowerment, financial freedom, and generational wealth. And how we did that is we used coffee as a vehicle for that. Uh, we created the Black Coffee Company to show the community that we can work together and we can reach our dreams without stepping on each other's toes. That's awesome. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it, guys. This is black excellence at its best. And I have to tell you, you guys know that I keep it real all the way 200, not 100. So I had a chance to taste the coffee like yesterday I was crashing and uh, really it brought me back. It, it was absolutely like, I mean, delicious. I think yesterday you guys had a sample, um, something with lavender or something. In Keisha, which is a vanilla, lavender, and honey latte. Guys, when I tell you it was bomb, it was bomb, and it actually gave me the pickup I needed to make it to the house. When I got there, you already know I didn't get in the bed. I crawled under the bed. That's another story, <laughs> but you guys did actually have to pick me up while I was here. That's awesome, guys. So you guys have to support them. This is what this platform is all about, supporting our people. If they want to do that, can you tell us how they can find you, how they can support you? Absolutely. So we do have our first flagship location in the Lakewood Heights area of Atlanta. So 1800 Jonesboro Road. Um, so we also have yoga at our shop as well as jazz concerts, a lot of fun things. Please follow us on Instagram oh, wow. at Black Coffee Atlanta. And that's with Atlanta spelled out, Black Coffee Atlanta. We'd wow. love to see y'all come support us. You can always buy online as well. That's awesome. See, I didn't even know that you just dropped some knowledge so I could have a cup of coffee and do yoga at the same a darn absolutely. time. Absolutely. ain't mad at you. Okay, guys, I'm going to be there. So if y'all want to find me, you know I'm cool to hang out with, right? <laughs> you want to stop by Black Coffee as well. We appreciate you guys taking the time out of your busy schedule yes, to stop by and talk to us. And we look forward to actually seeing you guys soon. And we will be supporting. And we know that our audience is well as well. So thanks once again. We appreciate you. Guys, thanks for tuning in to the Taylor Made Spotlight presented by Taylor Made Film Company. I'm your host, Bridget. Until next time, stay safe and peace. Thank you. Hey, hey, this is Keisha from Taylor Made Film Company, and I have today introduce yourself. My name is Vincent Owens, uh, of the CEO of the Vincent Owens Group, cryptocurrency advisors. So. I saw Black Wealth Matters, and I felt like I needed to stop through and talk to the talk to the people. So. Well, absolutely. Well, tell us more about your company. Yeah, so the Vincent Owens Group, uh, we are uh, decentralized financial advisors. So you can look at us as, you know, you go to Edward Jones and you get a financial advisor, you would come to the Vincent Owens Group and you would get a decentralized financial advisor so we can help you invest into the blockchain, cryptocurrencies, and other, you know, Web3 uh, technology. So that's what we do. I'll actually be speaking on stage at one o'clock oh, awesome. today. Yeah, at the Vibranium stage. So I saw this and I was like, yo, this is dope. I got to stop through. Absolutely. Have so some fun. Where are you based? I'm based here in Atlanta. Okay. So tell me, what if there is someone who absolutely knows nothing about finance and they want to get started yeah. in your area, what would you tell them? Uh, well, I mean, you got, number one, in order to get going, you got to first get started, right? So, <laughs> I mean, getting started is the most important part. And I think a lot of people, uh, they don't ever get started or they wait too long. Right. And with these markets, uh, these financial markets are very liquid, right? Okay. And they move very fast. So you have to move with speed. Um, but with cryptocurrency, that's why we focus on it because uh, it's bridging the gap and it's lowering, it's lowering the uh, the wealth gap, right? And it's, right. it's lowering. So what cryptocurrency is actually doing for us as a people, especially us that don't may not have millions and hundreds right. of thousands of dollars, is you can get in some of these technologies for thirty cent, you know, a dollar, right. and you can watch them grow over time. So two things is to get started. Second thing is to be patient, you know, because. <laughs> You may Absolutely. not make your first million dollars until 10 years, right. but it's better than working for it for the whole life, so. Okay, so it's a marathon, not a sprint. It's definitely a marathon. Okay, you said when it's so that it's not too late. What's considered too late? Um, well, what's considered too late 
Um, I believe that just wait. Uh, if you know that you should be investing into this market right, right now exactly. and you decide to do it tomorrow and you didn't start today, that's too late. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, if you—I mean, if you have the money, if you have the, the the means. Okay. But when you know, you should start. But what's the means? Like for say, okay, say for instance, I have a 14 and a 15 year old. Okay. And I am encouraging them to become financially literate and to understand that money is a tool and right. all of that wonderful stuff. What would you say to them because they are getting started early on? Well, number one. Uh, we're moving into a, a, a world where technology, uh, I mean, look at Roblox, right? Yeah, I mean, Roblox, kids play Roblox all day long. They already have digital money on there. They have NFTs on there. Right. So by the time someone who is seven or eight years old becomes 15 or 16 years old, the world's going to be completely different in the next 10 years. So what I would say to someone that's 14 or 15 is number one, obviously you can invest, but what you can start with is education. Right. The same place that you start with education for math, the same place that you start with education. And right now, the school system really ain't hitting on nothing. You're so, right. I mean, you can still go to school, but you need to be using YouTube University as well. Absolutely, absolutely. So, your socials. Where can we find you? Um, I'm on social media everywhere at the Vincent Owens, uh, T H E Vincent O W E N S Owens. So the Vincent Owens. Vincent, thank you so much for your time. Most we definitely. really appreciate you. Yes. Enjoy your time here at Invent Invest Fest yes. 2022. My first time Don't speaking. forget to follow us, Taylor Made Film Company. Don't forget on to Insta follow Instagram. Taylor Made. Let's go. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank I really you. appreciate you. It was you. an amazing time. back at Invest Fest 2022. My name is Bridget with TaylorMade Film Company and I am coming back to you guys to share these lovely ladies with you. Hi, I'm Jay Bradford. I'm a financial advisor and the author of my children's book series, Mahogany and Friends. Hi, my name is Josiah Ruiz and I am the marketing manager of Mahogany and Friends. That's awesome, Mahogany and Friends. So that's yes. a really catchy name. Can you guys tell us what that is, a little bit about it? Yes. So the Mahogany and Friends book series was really created to educate children on topics that aren't traditionally taught in the school systems and disrupt the social norm of who society views as a person in the financial service industry. Wow, that's loaded, that's loaded. I wish that I had the information when I was younger, right? Our youth are so lucky today. So that sounds like it's really awesome. Can you tell me what actually, I guess my question is, you guys actually chose that particular subject matter, right? What was the inspiration behind that? So being a financial advisor, um, I'm in the room a lot with white men and I feel like we're always talking about diversity and inclusion and those people that make a room diverse aren't in those rooms. Amen. And to get people <laughs> in the industry, I think they have to know that it's capable for them to be in those rooms. And introducing financial literacy to children lets them know that, hey, I can do that too. So this little girl named Mahogany of Mahogany Goes to Wall Street mm -hmm. shows little black girls that they can be on Wall Street and build their wealth through the financial market as well. Wow, that is so awesome. Yes. That's just wonderful, and I could not agree with you more. Um, there's a lot of training out there that's needed in the realm for diversity, right? And these days, we don't just want to be in the room like we actually want to sit at the table. Yes. And yes. with you guys actually writing this and sharing that, hopefully that'll give our youth that opportunity yep. and give them that, you know, and, actually give them that step ahead of everyone and, else. And just like Tyler Perry said, I didn't want to complain about not having that seat at the table yes. or kids not having it. I'm making a difference and I'm starting to build that table for us. Oh, wow. I yes. love it. I love it. I love it. So basically, um, this is a lovely book here and it's called um, Mahogany, Goes, Mahogany to Goes to Wall Street. Okay. And we love the illustrations and just everything. So it sounds like this is maybe a kind of like a family venture. Is that true? Yes. Yes. So I'm the author. My sister-in-law did the beautiful illustrations throughout the book and my sister Josiah helps with the marketing. That's so awesome. Yes. I love it. It's black excellence says it is best right yes. not only that it's black girls magic at it's black best, girl right? magic yeah exactly yes. and that's what our girls actually have to look forward to i think that is super fantastic we'll be sure to share this with everyone that we know i think that it's vital that all young brown and black girls have this information can you tell us where we can find you guys and how people can get your product and yes how they move yes 
So you, the best place to buy our product that directly supports us is www.mahoganyandfriends.com and you can follow our Instagram at Mahogany and Friends and that's as well on Facebook. Okay, that sounds like a winner, guys. Be sure to do that. And is there any final thoughts that you would like the audience to know or anything that we didn't cover here today? We definitely just want to let you guys know that we are teaching these kids about these financial topics on their level so that it'll keep them engaged through candy and through layman's terms that they are going to understand and remember for the rest of their lives. That's a good way to get kids engaged, right? Yeah. If you like, you know, like put it in front of their eyes, that'll definitely make them interested. Yeah. Well, guys, again, we think that that's awesome. We think it's wonderful. We'll definitely send everyone that we know your way. Thanks so much for sharing your story. Thank you. Thank and your you. product with us. We're super excited. So once again, guys, be sure to follow them. Be sure to support them. I'm Bridget with TaylorMade Film Company. Follow us on Instagram at TaylorMade Film Company. Until next time, um, stay safe. Peace. Bye. Hello, this is Keisha coming to you from Invest Fest 2022 with Taylor Made Film Company. And today I have with me. This is Fast Jeweler. You got Fast Jeweler with you, the world's youngest jeweler, straight out of Chicago, 14 years old. Out of the shy? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Not only are you out of the shy, you're 14. 14 years old. Okay, so that makes my heart full <laughs> because I know what you face in your community. Yeah. So I am so proud of you. Thank you. And I want you to keep hustling out here. For sure. But Thank you. But doing it legally. Yeah, I will. Right? Forever. All right, so tell me what you're doing. I'm 14 years old. I do custom jewelry. I have my own whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, Slow down. jewelry store. Custom jewelry? Yes. Okay, help me visualize this. At 14, what kind of custom jewelry you doing? Uh, all types of diamonds like I have. I have a memory printed of my grandmother. Oh, like for real jewelry? So, we, yeah. We're not talking about the yarn and the... No, no the, crystals. The, none of that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love yeah. it. So you custom... You customize this? Yes. Okay, who's this beautiful lady? This is my grandmother. Your grandmother. Yes. Oh, wow. All yes. right, so, rep your city. Where you from? I'm from Chicago, Illinois. What, what part? <laughs> from the south side. From south side, 54th and Hermitage, and I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank oh you. Oh, my God, I love you. Thank so, you. what else do you do? Uh, I also, I, right now, I'm just focusing on my one business that I have, but I also work in my father's restaurant. He has a restaurant on Dalton in Sibley. Okay. So, yeah. All right, so, the jewelry. Yeah. If we were looking to do some customized jewelry and we were like, okay, there's this 14-year-old kid, how do we find you? Right here, I have a business card. I'm on 19 North Wall Bass, right here. Okay, business so, card, what North about your Bass socials? Jewelers, bro. My social is Fast the Jeweler, F-A-T-Z, the jeweler. All right, so, and what you have in your hand? Uh, I have a shirt that I'm giving out right now at Best Fest. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, for free, we can get you a size too, yeah. I'm so proud of you. All right, thank you. Wait. The question is, are you ready for school? Yeah. You got like a school shopping Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So how did you end up here in Atlanta? Uh, I actually found out about it, and my dad told me, like, come on, let's book a flight, and we can go. Aww. So, yeah. I would have had a boot, but I found out a little late, but it's all good. It's okay. You in yeah. the place. Yep. Okay. So shout out to your pops for being so supportive. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. That's <laughs> what it takes. Yeah. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so all much right. for having me. That's going to wrap it up for us today with this young man. Your name again? My name is Fats. And we can find you on your As, socials? <laughs> at Fats the Jeweler. F-A-T-Z the Jeweler. And that wraps it up with Taylor Made Film Company. Follow us on Instagram at Taylor Made Film Company. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hello, everyone. As you already know, this is Bridget with the Taylor Made Spotlight presented by Taylor Made Film Coming. Coming at you once again, guys. It's been a really long weekend, but I could not let the day pass without introducing you to these awesome two people to the left of me. As you already know my format, I don't talk for people. I let them introduce themselves. So please tell our audience who you are. Hi. Hi. I am Jason, or the most call me Mr. Hempel Holland. <laughs> And I'm Dr. Io. Dr. Io, this has that guys, that has a nice ring to it. Absolutely. So your brand is called again. What's the name of it? Our brand is Hempaholic. Hempaholic. Okay, Hempaholic. What is Hempaholic? Hempaholic is a brand we started. Um, it's basically, it's it's natural. It's uh, our, our mantra is uh, life's a breeze if you're a Hempaholic. 
Oh, um, I like it that. just it, it brings life. It brings happiness. I mean, people love it. It just changes situations. Oh, yeah. wow. wow. And we That's also awesome. have hemp-based CBD and THC products. Okay. All vegan and organic. Okay. Uh, we have a farm in Oregon, uh, uh -huh. 15 acres. Oh, wow. So all of our products um, are sourced and wow. vegan and organic. So That's we just awesome. want to make sure everyone's getting well. <laughs> quality products. Absolutely, and that's really important. So I was talking to your better half here earlier, and for myself on this topic, I was completely ignorant as, as many people are, right? So I was telling him I have all of these aches and pains, and he was telling me some of the products that can help me. When I hear this, I just automatically think about the buzz, if you will. So help our audience understand how can the product help them. Say that you wake up and you're just like in pain and you're aching. What type of products would you take and how can they help you? So I would say if you're asleep, we have a CBN gummy. Uh, it's a different part of the plant. It helps you relax and go to sleep. But before I get into all the products, I want to tell you how it actually works on your body. Yes, so please. you have an endocannabinoid system built into your body. It's already in there. Okay. And cannabis or CBD or hemp, it's kind of like the structures that are already in your body so your body accepts it so when you take okay. cbd or cannabis it binds to those neuroreceptors Makes or sense. those neurotransmitters in your body send signals and basically gives you healing rather inflammation pain anxiety so on and so forth oh, so wow. for me i had a i had a really bad car accident uh lambo uh accident broke 30 bones in my face wow. something went through my ankle wow um i healed in three times as fast as the doctors expected. Like wow. 30 bones in my face and I still look the same. The product is the product is absolutely amazing. Wow, that's, yeah. that is, it sounds amazing. I mean, it was just miraculous. And some of the products for pain themselves, uh -huh. we have a topical that okay. you can put locally. So okay. you put it on the area of your pain. Okay. But like he said, because the body has inflammation, there's orals you can take okay. or sublinguals that can help calm down some of that inflammation in okay. your body. Okay. And then we have other things like massage oils, bath bombs. I mean, we just- Oh, the whole nine. Yeah, yeah we got absolutely. the whole nine. We absolutely. got something for everybody. Okay. Okay, got it. So one more quick question. So if I was like, um, said that I was in pain and I wanted some relief and I had to go to work and drive, is it safe? Does it give you a buzz or how does that work? Well, so we have, uh, our products are, they're, they're not going to give you a buzz. Okay. It's more of a euphoric feeling. Okay. Like we have okay. a mood uplift. It's okay. kind of, I call it my my cup of coffee, my daily okay. cup of coffee. Okay. gives you okay. energy, okay. it boosts your cognitive functioning, you're thinking clearly, it's going to okay. take your inf information away. It's just joy in a bottle. We use okay. all natural herbs, things like ashwagandha, okay. rashmi, lemon balm, holy basil, okay. combined with what we have at our farm, okay. and we use isolate to wow. combine a product, and it works amazing. Okay, okay, well. But, but I do want to add, we do have an expanded product line. Okay. We do have some Delta 8 and Delta 9 THC. They're okay. hemp-based, okay. so they're legal okay. um, in many of the states. Some states, you know, have made, passed laws, but okay. those might give you a little bit of a buzz depending okay. on your body. Okay, so that's when you really want to be in chill yeah, mode. Yeah, if you don't yourself. want, okay. you done with work, exactly. your kids gone, you want to relax, okay, turn up sense. a little bit, makes we sense. have something for that. So we really got something for everybody. Okay, okay, wow, that sounds wonderful, sounds awesome. Anything it, you would like to add? Last thing I would love to say, guys, so since we're farm to home, so since we have a farm, we create our products and blends. We have educational content. We have eBooks, courses. Wow. Um, we help you get your own business up and going. Oh, wow. um, we allow people to help white label. We help with banking and merchant accounts. So we are that one stop, stop shop for the business. Wow, that's awesome, wow. So that means I can get healed, feel better, get in business, and just be to my best self. That's right. And then another day, we're that's at right. Invest Fest. That's what it's about. That's what okay, it's about. Exactly, guys. So you have to invest in yourself, and that starts with feeling good, looking good, feeling good, the whole nine. So you have to reach out to these resources just to make sure that you have what you need to be successful in the avenue. How can people reach you to purchase your product and just you know, yeah, reach get in out touch and connect. with us, yes. for sure. So we have a website, of course, www.hempaholiccbd.com. Okay. And we're on Instagram and Facebook, at HempaholicCBD. So basically, if you know the name of our company, Hempaholic, yes, you yes. can find us. Uh, okay, so in other words, just Google them. And just you'll Google us. Exactly. Come on, Absolutely. come on. Wow. Guys, this has been awesome. I'm super yes. excited. So I'll be 
getting some product. I was I was on the fence, but now, yeah, so as soon as Aww. I'm done here and wrap, I'm going to feel real good when I get home and relax. It's been a long weekend, That's guys. right. Check us yeah, out. absolutely. We appreciate you guys sharing. And guys, once again, we have to support our businesses, and we can start here, right? Please support, guys. We got to stick together. Our dollars just need to stay in our community just as long as it's as it does in others, right? So we appreciate you guys so very thank much. You. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching and please follow Taylor Made Film Company on Instagram at Taylor Made Film Company. Until next time, stay safe and peace. Hello, this is Keisha with Taylor Made Film Company coming to you live from Invest Fest. 2022 and I have this beautiful couple with me please introduce yourself hello my name is Diane Walker and I'm Demetrius Walker and we are the love Panors. okay like hold on wait sexual affection oh, okay <laughs> wait. rewind please tell me wait okay I have so many questions I don't even know where to start ask them boo ask them okay so this is a business yep all right, so tell me about this business. So we are Lupin North. We've been in business together for 13 years. Okay. When we started out in business 13 years ago together, we realized that there was no information about how do you work a relationship and business at the same okay, time. Okay, so you discovered a need and you came up with the solution. 100%. So we pretty much help and coach couples that are trying to figure it out. How do we build successful relationships and also successful businesses? Oh, wow. Without banging against each other's heads. And he don't mean sexually. <laughs> okay? <laughs> no, but what we realized, Lovepreneur was birthed through pain. There was a lot of pain here. Okay. And trying to grow rich together, we were managing several businesses from real estate. And this was back... 2008, 2007, okay. right? So before this whole fame of entrepreneurship, we were already starting that journey. Okay. I came from corporate America. My husband was already an entrepreneur. Right. You can imagine the mindset shifts very and different. the clash, very different. Right. How do you marry the two and still get married and not get a divorce or not result in separation? Exactly. So Lovepreneur was birthed. We have hundreds of case studies on couples trying to figure this out. And when we realized, the number one thing that these hundreds of couples don't have is a community. Right. So we build a community of couples that are entrepreneurs or inspired entrepreneurs and trying to figure this journey out. We give them the support system they okay, need. So, you know, we, we're ha we have um, either a wife or a husband watching this interview right now and they're like, hold on, please help us. How do they reach you? So beautiful thing is we're on Instagram and we're all over the web. All you have to do is Google Lovepreneur and you'll find us. Instagram at Lovepreneur. You will reach us on there. And you can also text the word love. If you need love and you need business with love, text the word love to 215-461-3589 and we'll respond instantly. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much for stopping by at Taylor May Film Company. Follow us on Instagram. Runway Billionaire. Wait, say it again? Runway Billionaire. You said Runway. Yes. Like? Like? Model Runway. Yeah. Or are you talking about like a jet? Or like that, yeah. Okay. That, that so part. how'd you come up with this name? Uh, it's a long story. Uh, I need to know. <laughs> well, I mean, as you can see, you know, gotta stay fly. Okay, that makes sense. I so, see you. And, and we all gotta be billionaires. It's, okay. our, it's our birthright. That's right. Yeah, so we got to be billionaires. You know what? You just did something to me with that birthright. <laughs> you better come on and preach. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Yo. All right, so what brings you here to Invest Fest 2022 well, in the ATL? Well, man, I, I, I help a lot of people make money online. Okay. So so, so I'll be doing a disservice if I wasn't here. Oh. <laughs> right? But, but most importantly, just, you know, the network, to get, you know, get in the, get in the room, get the information that can take my business to the next level and see how I can, you know, inspire, motivate, 
and you know touch the you know touch the culture to see how I can how I can participate in the you know. Okay, so you are obviously a young man, and I have a heart for young people, like a little younger than you, though. Thank you. Okay, so I want you to inspire them. So give them some words of inspiration, like they stumble across this video and this interview, and they want to hear what you have to say. Yeah. So, so I would just, I would just tell everybody, you gotta like ultimately believe in yourself. Like, like I'm talking about like ultimately, like, cause there's gonna be some times where people are not gonna believe in you. It's gonna be some times where people don't see your vision. You're gonna have homies, even, even family members. That's just going, it's just not gonna sound like a good idea to them. Right. But you gotta understand that the reason why God gave you the vision you is because, come on. You is because come it's because it's. Because it's for you. Yes. It's not for everybody yes. else. So when you start to, you know, get the fruits and the lab fruits of the labor from right. that vision that you have, it's not gonna be for everybody. You know what? Well, we can go ahead and pass an offering on that. <laughs> Come on. <now. laughs> oh my God! I love your compassion. I love Thank your you. heart. Like it is everything for me right now. Thank you. Runway billionaire. billionaire. How do we find you? Uh, on IG. On IG. What's Run your handle? Runway underscore billionaire. Runway underscore billionaire. That's what it is. Thank you so much for stopping Thank by you. at Taylor May Let's go. Film Company. Follow us on IG. Taylor May Films. <laughs>